Hey everybody. Nice. Fucking idiots. Apparently there's been a uh, some sort of robbery or a burglary at the fifth third here in uh, oh what do you call this Mason? Say Mason? Deerfield Township, Ohio. South side of King's Island area. West Chester. Anyway, uh, I started recording before I got to the depot to pick up some stuff for Shannon's place. Uh, when I pushed the stop button, I was rambling about the intent of the religious in their, oh, I don't know, not hatred, but, but persecution towards atheists, non-believers, and those of other religions than theirs. Now, to them, most of them, in their defense, devil's advocate here, I hate this game, uh, they will, or they, they think that they are doing right. They actually believe that their wholesome agenda is to convince the non-believer and save their soul. That is the point. Now, a lot of the people on here, and I don't, I don't look at, I. I don't spend a lot of time going through and witch hunting and quote mining and you know just to pwn people. It's fun for the you know for the games and to watch other people do it and that's that's not my gig. The, the what I'm after is just to reflect my own experiences and share that with you and and get your input and your experiences because without feeding off of each other and finding out experiences and not living through each other but uh, understanding where other people come from even with the same beliefs and the same ideologies can help to expand our knowledge of you know the, the cause if you will now Being the butt of a lot of uh, different jokes, persecution for my beliefs or non-beliefs. <sighs> I, I don't think that, that these guys, the fundies, are actually purposefully vindictive. They think that they are doing a righteous deed. Now, some of them in doing so will commit crimes or or sins themselves but they think they're doing it for a greater good my pursuit of a degree in psychology which I'm currently working on is to find out why that's what I want to know Not because I want to change the world I just want to know And is, is there a certain mechanism that will, you know, we do the, the five questions, what would convince you of, you know, there was no God, what would convince you of, we have our minds made up. Yes, there are going to be a couple people who go to the other side. Yes, there will be a couple people come to our side, but eventually it comes down to raising children to be tolerable to be uh, more you know critically thinking to where eventually religious will be weeded out some people i know personally are so anti religion that they think that they are the antichrist the equivalent of. So they should be dealt with you know, severely and harshly and those people frankly 
give decent human beings a bad name. Uh, the people who are constantly, you know, uh, I don't want to say active, because I'm an activist. I'm a passive activist. When something gets under my skin, yes, I will speak out about it. I will right the wrongs that I see. But when somebody comes up to me and says, you know, God bless, or I sneeze and they say, oh, God bless you. Or they look at me and say, you know, my prayers are with you. I know their intentions are not to convert me or to push their ideas on me. They are actually, that's just their way of wishing me well. You're in my prayers. They're not going to pray for me. Some of them will, maybe, I don't know. But, you know, things that I've gone through, my current situation, my, you know, when my fiance passed away, people came up to me not knowing that I would, you know, my beliefs one way or another and said, you are in my prayers. I, I will pray for you and you're, you know, she's watching over you. She's, you know, this and that. I know that's not true. As much as, you know, we would want it to be true or selfish as it would be for us to assume that something like that would be true. I know it's not true. But instead of trying to look at them and say, well, you're stupid. The best thing that I can do is say thank you. That's all I can do. Uh, yeah, some of their comments, you know, after I, I would talk to somebody and, and one guy said, oh, that's just God's way of, I said, no, I, I don't, I don't subscribe to that, but you know, I understand where you're coming from. Oh no, but you have to have faith. No, Jeff, you, you don't. I, that's not that's not where this conversation was going. I don't want to, you know. That's and I would, you know, I didn't say, oh well, I believe this. I wouldn't outwardly say, no, let's debate. I'd say, okay, that's fine, but how I look at it is this. And it wasn't even that kind of conversation until. And then sometimes you just have to know when to say. I need to go get a beer. Uh, I got a whiz. See ya. And then just vanish. You don't have to sit there and talk to them. You don't have to get into it with anybody. And we're just as guilty of you know straw man as as they are. We're it's, it's so easy. The human psyche. Now another thing that I have uh, along the same lines. It just. It, popped into my head. See, I am, I'm a big, I'm, I'm unscripted. I like my thoughts to develop. I will make five or six videos and not post anything just to get it out. But, where was I going? Yeah, roadblock, complete, and that's what happens too. Complete roadblock. 